Hello. I'm Joshua Alexander. I'm an artist, and this is my studio where I mostly make paintings. Hey, I'm working on a bunch of weird art for an upcoming show. There'll be more on that later, so subscribe if you're not already. You might be interested in what I'm creating. I'm actually creating more than just this weird stuff. I, I, I also have like a few other, anyway, I have a stuff coming up. I have a large body of work encompassing many uh, different styles of uh, series. Uh, that incorporate different styles and genres and, and such. Yeah, solo shows, never done one before uh, like this. So I want to have a big range of work. And with that, I want to also experiment with different materials. Like even this material, it's really wood panel. I've not painted on wood panel before, as far as I can remember. Mostly I paint on canvas, I guess. Where it's just your typical standard, like, cotton canvas. Um, I like it. I use it for all sorts of different types of paintings and such. Check that out. That's cool, right? It's like a skull. It's like almost like a skull painting. I, I don't know the different types of different types of art. I just, I just like doing, doing it. At all. But anyway, I'm used to painting on, on this type of canvas, the cotton. But recently, I discovered this uh, by accident. It's actually a, should say some... Uh, cotton slash hemp. This is like a 50% it probably says there yeah there we go 50 percent hemp i imagine it's probably very similar to uh using the cotton but since i've never used it before i figured why not make a video and give my honest review on a canvas that is uh practically the same but different enough let's see how she works now why I'm curious is because I typically finger paint. This one isn't a finger painting. I'm experimenting with brushes again for this series in particular because sometimes just my, my fingers are kind of too fat to get some of the detail. This one also belongs in that series. But typically, I'm mostly finger painting because I enjoy it. That's a lie. Well, I do enjoy it, but it's because because of this. I don't wash my brushes and then they go to waste and then I have to buy new ones and that gets expensive. I'm actually saving these for my show just to demonstrate how many brushes go in to painting so few paintings because you know taking breaks and such and all right let's see. You know, it kind of feels the same. Let's put some paint on this. Okay, just like many cotton canvases, this canvas here is pre-gessoed. So what I'm putting on here is not gesso. Uh, I don't even really know what gesso is. I guess it's a type of primer. This here is just plain white acrylic paint. I'm using it as a base coat. I'm not sure it's necessary, but I do it in almost every painting I do. I'm trying to speed up the drying process by placing the canvas in front of the heater out here in the, the workshop area. Should, should help it come along a little bit faster. It did, it's dry. Next, let's try spraying it with some liquidy stuff, see how it does with that. I employ this technique all the time on cotton canvas since this is a different material, I wanted to see how it would hold up. I was like, why isn't this working? It's, it's broken. Damn it. Damn it. Are you kidding me? They both broke at the same time? They both broke at the same time. It doesn't work. All right. Now this is just an assumption going in blind, but I believe the manufacturer produced this to be just a regular canvas to be treated just like a cotton canvas. Now they look slightly different and they feel slightly different, but they are meant to do the same thing, which is hold a picture made out of paint. I suppose there are some special instructions with using this different material, but I don't know what they are. So I'm just doing what I always do as if it was cotton. Well, that was pointless, leaving it 
here in front of the heat last night because it is obviously the next day. I uh, put it up there and then fell asleep on the couch. So it would have been dry by now had I just left it here. Looking at it, it's probably the same, although that actually feels, yeah. Okay, so where it's white, where I didn't put hardly any uh, watered down paint, it feels how it should. This, I don't know how well that'll show up, but it's kind of got this lifted peely effect, which is obviously undesirable for many for a couple of reasons. One, we're obviously having some sort of adherence issue. Whatever the binding agent is in the paint, it, it I've, I've destabilized it by probably adding too much moisture, not waiting long enough for my base coat to dry or maybe just using too much liquid on it or there could be some other reasons there for the mechanical failure. Another reason why you might not want this effect in here is because the texture may ruin the painting that you're going for. If your picture is supposed to be completely smooth and not have all these little bumps and stuff, you may not like that. So I'm not sure if this is a canvas issue or a too much water issue because I have had this happen in the past. And if I wasn't able to stabilize it in some way, I'd have to scrap the painting here though, I mean, just from this little bit of touching stuff, nothing is flaking off like I might expect. So it might be fine. And that might may be a canvas thing. That might be a hemp thing where it, it's not as critical as it is on cotton. I'm not sure, I have no idea. But it's not coming off. Whereas if I did that on a, a past piece that I did on cotton canvas, it would come off which is how I know that this is this is different. It's kind of weird. I don't know why it's not coming off. All right, I'm gonna treat it as though it's fine and we're gonna carry on. I think we're gonna do some, we're gonna lay down some paint in a more traditional manner. Obviously not super traditional as I am finger painting rather than using brushes. Although if you go back far enough in history and if you consider that tradition, we did finger paint before we used brushes. But you get the point. I am just laying down straight acrylic paint right out of the tube. Now comparing this to 100% cotton when it comes to the catalyst failure in the base coat, it does feel different. However, this feels like it's gonna hold up a lot better than when the same thing happens with too much moisture getting behind the base coat on 100% cotton canvas. Everything that I'm laying down now is holding up perfectly on top of the spray layer, which by the way is a powdered pigment mixed with water with a few squirts of acrylic paint. It would be fair to say I have no idea what I'm doing. However, I don't ever have adherence issues with that spray mixture. Now, I'm not sure what's causing this. Is it the hemp weave is too loose? Is it not enough gesso? Is the base coat not cured enough? I'm not sure, but what I am sure about is that this is probably gonna hold up fine. All right, after about a, an hour or so of painting, we're here. It definitely feels different on the fingers as I like pass through it, which, whoops, <laughs> which you might expect, uh, but like everything is sticking to it nicely. I'm gonna wait for this to completely dry before I move on. All right, so this has been drying all day and then all last night. It is completely dry. Everything is still stable. As it was drying, I was working on some other projects and uh, as I was doing so, I thought, you know what would be kind of a good idea since I'm already knee deep into it? This top section here, which is just white paint that has had many, many, many hours to dry, uh, it hasn't been exposed to much water. Now, being completely dry, will it react the same as the more fresh paint? Will it get this scaly, peely effect? Which, by the way, is still stable. Nothing's coming off like I was worried it might. And where I've put the fresh paint, 
it nothing nothing is lifting or anything it's it's all pretty good so I don't think I have much to worry about but I would like to know how this reacts on this type of canvas to high moisture content after it's definitely dried and perhaps even cured by now it is acrylic paint so it, it does it does uh, uh, cure quickly another thing is it, it'll it'll help bring the piece together more cohesively because this is very stark white compared to this more grungy look so I kind of want to bring it together anyway it's probably something I would have done and covering up this middle streak here with white paint that's you know semi translucent I think looks really good so if I can bring it all together like that I think that'll be nice let's see how it how it turns out okay so here at this point it's been about three days which is about as long as it takes for acrylic paint to fully cure so adding the water here should be able to give us a hint as to whether or not the paint is the issue the canvas is the issue a mixture of both but I being <laughs> uneducated in this will still have no idea why it fails if it fails Okay, it seems to be good. Nothing is lifting so immediately like it did before. Now, that could be because acrylic paint is essentially like a plastic, so it's created, uh, a, you know, a nice barrier, a non-porous barrier. But this, however, has relifted a little bit. This right here, if I my finger in there it comes off which is obviously something we don't <laughs> we don't want so when this dries we'll see we'll see we'll see how it looks this seems to be stable in here where we have the paint over top of our base layer In any case, I'm liking the way that it's looking now that that's kind of brought into the piece. Let's throw it in front of the heat. All right, having left it for a good while to dry, it feels completely dry to the touch. The back does not look like it's saturated in any sort of way. And I have some possibly good news. It seems to have re-stabilized. Nothing seems to be flaking off to my aggressive touch. One thing that I wasn't expecting, uh, as it dried, we have some uh, lifting of the paint in some areas and not so much in other areas. It looks like the more saturated areas have more paint. If you're wondering what that noise is, that's uh, this is a full working uh, workshop and studio. Here, that's Clint working on a project out there. Um, I'm not sure if it's user error or if it's some sort of thing to expect when using messy watery paints, especially with actual water rather than some sort of uh, medium or whatever. I don't, I'm not a real artist. I don't know what mediums are, but whatever it is that you're supposed to use to make paints runny. I just used water and so maybe I should always expect this. It does happen sometimes on canvas and sometimes it depends on the type of paint that I use brand wise and I use a, a wide range I use this brand I use this brand I use this brand here I use this brand here uh, I use some of these are, are the same obviously but uh, I use a whole range for the white I use this unmarked jug uh the art store wrote chroma krill white so whatever that is i just wanted a, a big jug of white because this last jug of white i have which is a store brand a house brand uh did this quite a bit maybe even though it's a different art store it's the same stuff you're going to expect some stuff when you don't know anything. Uh, and since this is experimental, 
I'm glad now I know. However, I'm still unsure if it's because it's hemp or because it's me. <laughs> Moving on, once again, I am changing mediums or paint types. I'm using spray paint here. Some of it is solvent-based, some of it is water-based, and I believe one of the cans was oil-based. I know you're not supposed to mix these types of paints certain ways, but I did anyway, and I was curious to see how it would turn out. All right, we'll let that dry for a bit, and then we can do some refining and touch-ups. After it was dry, which took no time at all because spray paint, especially solvent-based, dries super quick, it seemed good. It seemed fine. Everything is holding together. I tried to get it to let go and it and it won't. And that's obviously a good sign. The hemp has a looser weave. It's more fibrous. And I'm wondering if that is the benefit and also the bane of this painting here because being more fibrous, it's poking through more, if you will. The peaks of the weave are coming through the base coat and maybe that's what's grabbing the moisture and sucking it underneath the base coat. But those same peaks seem to be holding together everything anyway. It's strange. All right, I think I like that. I may add some more to it, but I think I like that. Just gotta let it dry and we'll see if I make any changes whilst it's drying. But I think I like that. Hello Renee, Autumn, Kathy, Sheila, Dragonfly, hello, Pat, hello Pat. Um, I'm gonna do a mix of uh, things here. I'm gonna do some spray paint, I'm gonna do some acrylic here. Uh, I'm, I've, I'm making a video on it, so I'm probably going to take some of this live video here and put it in my YouTube video. There we go. Yeah, that's what I like. That's what I like. Okay. Yes. Okay, I think that's it. I think that might be it. Hold on. A little bit more. Oh shit, that was too much. All right, we figured it out. I think I'm happy with it right here. All I gotta do is sign it, give it a little varnish, and it should be done. <laughs> this was way too light, obviously. You can't even see it. <laughs> there we go, that's better. So in the end, after having some issues with adherence with the base coat, after using several different types of paint, after feeling the canvas with my bare hands, after letting it sit, letting it dry super fast, doing all sorts of different ups and downs and arounds experimentation, and also not knowing much about any mediums, whether they be paint, whether they be mixtures whether they be the substrate i like the hemp and i think i made a nice picture that will last thanks to and maybe no thanks to the hemp i really should have done a control with a 100 percent cotton canvas but i didn't so maybe i will have to revisit this experiment in a future video where i paint the same picture twice on the two different types of canvas. Let me know.